begin the suspension process, remove the VT top and cover. You can store the cover inside of the empty VT, and empty VTs can be stacked for storage. To set the array frame, first remove the extension bar and set it aside. Set the top cabinet's angle to 4 degrees and pull up the bar. This will make the array frame sit parallel with the cabinet. Set the array frame on the array and attach the pins from the inside of the frame. Set the extension bar on the array frame and select the correct A, B, or C hole for the precision shackle positioning system. This information and the correct shackle position can be found in your array configuration from the JBL Line Array Calculator software. To calculate our array angles and get our rigging information, we use Line Array Calculator and to get these numbers in the field, we transfer the information to the ArrayLink mobile application with a QR code. All inter-cabinet angles are selected while the system is on the ground. The angles for all cabinets can be preset while sitting in the vertical transporters before the array is suspended. Next, attach the hoist to the shackle. Make sure both sides match and begin lifting. As the array goes up, the angles will expand and automatically lock into place. Once the array is floating just above the ground, remove the VT cart by pulling the pins on the front and then the rear. While the first section of the array is going up, slide the next array into place. Assuming you have already pinned all of the boxes on the ground, you can preset the array's rigging by simply lifting up on the boxes. To join the two stacks, slide the lower array slightly in front of the suspended array and bring the array down. When they are aligned, roll the array back and pin the front of the arrays together. Next, drop the array in a little more until the rear points come into contact. Pin them together and raise the array up to float the wheels off the ground. Repeat the same steps to continue building your array. To safely connect the more curved portion at the bottom of the array, a two-step process is used. First, attach the front two connection points and then float the array. Use the handle at the base of the VT to pull the lower section back and carefully land the array on the front wheels. This will bring the rear points together to be pinned. One last safety check of all of the quick rigging pins and we are ready to go to trim.